Hello students, in today's lecture we will talk about uh, the Puritan period and this period was from 1603 to 1660. So let us move onwards for uh, further discussion about this period. In today's topic uh, we shall discuss the characteristics of uh, uh, Puritan literature, its historical background and we shall also discuss literary features, social and political background and uh, also the major writers that uh, wrote uh, their works in this period. So this period started after the uh, death of uh, Queen Elizabeth who was ruling England, England uh, during uh, uh, the age of uh, Shakespeare. So after the death of Queen Elizabeth I, King James of Scotland was brought into England and he became King James I of England and there started the age that is called Puritan age. And in th during this period English was totally dominated by a uh, Puritanism movement, a Puritanism belief and this period is also known as age of uh, John Milton. Why do we call this age is age of Milton? Because Milton was the major literary figure of this period. So that's why we call this age is age of Milton. Right, so this period is uh, the period of uh, Puritanism. And we can say that 17th century up to 1660 is called the Puritan age or the age of Milton who was the noblest representative of uh, the Puritan spirit. So this period is called uh, Puritan age because during this period Puritan standards prevailed in England and the uh, Puritans struggled for righteousness and uh, liberty. The aim of the Puritanism uh, was to struggle for uh, being a right human being, being straightforward and truthful and struggle for liberty. They wanted liberty in their religion as well as in society. And this period or uh, this Puritan age is divided into uh, three sub periods. Number one is Jacobin age and this was the age of King James the first. Second was Carolyn age age of Charles uh, the uh, first and then Commonwealth period uh, the, the period in which there was the, no monarchy no king in England so these three uh, periods are in included in Puritan age the literary features of this age are number one uh, at the first drama was growing because we know that uh, during Elizabethan period uh, there was a golden period of, for uh, drama but in this period drama started uh, declining because of uh, Puritanism, because of uh, civil war and these events eventually led to the declination of drama. So we can say that uh, during Puritan age uh, drama uh, at first drama grew, grew but later on it declined and we know that during this period uh, theatres were also closed. And the second one is classical rules of drama were maintained by Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson was dramatist during this period, so he maintained certain classical rules of drama. Number three, satiric art begins. And this was the period in which writers started writing uh, and they included satire in their uh, art and writings. English developed because of uh, the publication of uh, Bible and uh, James Bible version of Bible was published in English. So that in, we can say that uh, this brought uh, the developments into English language. Poetry took new form. There were three forms of poetry during this period. These three forms of poetry were number one Puritan, number two metaphysical and the third was cavalier. So these three types of poetry uh, appeared in this period.